Here at the UFZ in Leipzig, Germany, we carry out research on many aspects of the environment. This also includes monitoring the environmental consequences of shifting from fossil-based economies to bio-based economies. In two previous videos, we use simple props to show some of the research we have been doing, together with the DBFZ in relation to bio-based energies. This research looked at how we should conduct a life cycle assessment of the various bio-based energies produced within a certain region. We figured out that for bio-based production networks, we needed somehow to orientate our life cycle thinking towards three regional contexts. The first context, a within region, kept the focus in what was going on within the region, of course without forgetting potential externalities. The second was region in Rome. The focus is both on the region and particular markets outside of the region, such as electricity markets or biofuel markets. And the third is basically where you have many different regions interacting or trading with one another. This is what we refer to as regionally differentiated. We have even started building a model as an example to give us a better understanding of how to make such LCAs defined by a particular regional context. But in the greater scheme of things, how can this research help support our lifestyles in a future bioeconomy? After the Paris Climate Agreement, the push to decarbonize our society has gotten stronger. And this means that in the future, whether we are shopping for food, clothes, watching telly, driving our cars, taking a shower, working, cooking dinner, or even the energy that runs our cities, all of these basic daily requirements will involve products or energy derived from renewable sources, with a large share of these future raw materials being seen to be biomass based. Our research combines life cycle thinking and regional context. And with this, we aim to determine just how sustainable such bio-based energy and products are and if they should get the green light to help us meet the targets of the Paris Agreement. We should always be thinking and asking life cycle questions to move us forward towards a more sustainable lifestyle, as the children of tomorrow need us to think of these important questions today.